All right, all right, all right. I'm so excited about today's video. I've been promising you that I was gonna do some use it up videos. I have been using my products. I'm very happy about that. I've been doing empties videos, but I think it might help to tell you what I'm using while I'm using it. So you get a little bit more information. Some of this stuff is still available. You can pick it up if you see it like that. And some of it, yeah, I've had it for a while, but it'll be back soon. So let's get ready to dance, 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 and blow the bubbles. Hey, how you doing, E? Emmanuel, God bless you. And we are almost there. I just got the little announcement that went out to people that I am doing a live. That was faster than usual, so that's good. And let us see. Let us see. Ah, uh, and there we go. Woohoo. Can you see me? Can you see me? Hey, E. Okay, so let me. You got warm apple pie and peach cobbler today? Oh my goodness, warm apple pie is so delicious. Hey, Serenity, how you doing? God bless you. God bless you. So happy to, that you guys could make it for the Friday edition. So I'm gonna start with the things. See, these I never get to talk about while I'm actually using them. I just put two brand new um, wildflowers in the wall. This is Tuscan Herb. I don't know if you guys saw this haul, but I got it during the SAS sale. And it is Tuscan Lemon Tree, Crushed Basil, and White Sage Leaf. The lemon tree in this really smells like a lime to me. I just put this in. It's in my bathroom. This one's kind of light. It's not a heavy scent. And it's perfect for the bathroom. It makes the bathroom smell clean and it actually encourages me to clean the bathroom more because it already smells clean so I feel like it should be spotless so if you want a nice clean scent this um, Tuscan herb garden is that it's like lime zest it doesn't smell like a kitchen cleaner but it smells like a clean bathroom you know it doesn't the bathroom doesn't you know how bathrooms can have those strange odors and the bathroom i use doesn't have a window so it can trap all kinds of stuff it's just a mess and we have flooding so you know another journey but tuscan herb garden i'm using that one right now and i really really like it for the bathroom another thing i like about this one is it's not too strong so if you put this in your guest bathroom, some guests aren't accustomed to all that heavy fragrance. So if they go in there and you got this heavy scent of cookies and stuff in your bathroom, some people kind of, it's an uncomfortable experience. This is a nice, pleasant experience. I don't personally like to use kitchen lemon. This takes that kitchen lemon and kicks it up 500 notches with the herbs, it does have basil in it. I smell a little olive oil and it just smells very Mediterranean and expensive, you know, so highly recommend it. I know I'm gonna finish it pretty soon. Well, it'll take me a month or two. And um, I am using this one, pineapple mango. This is my relaxation uh, scent for the summer. It's very light, it's very fruity. The notes in this one is pineapple, mango, <laughs> and fresh raspberry. The pineapple in this, when it's 80, 90 degrees, that pineapple refreshing and sweet is so pleasant. I don't really get a strong raspberry in there, but the pine... Um, yeah, the pineapple mango is still available online, Serenity. I think the Tuscan herb is, I got this during SAS, so I don't think this is available, but I saw pineapple mango online. If you need something still for the heat, and um, you know, it's just so hot, cause like I was trying to do my pie scents and my cream scents and all this, and it was so hot, I was just, I was uncomfortable. Everything I tried wasn't working. When I got to these two right here, but the pineapple ma mango is still, online i think this is like a classic that's always pretty much available 
or some rendition of pineapple mango raspberry. It's always available. This is great when it's hot and it's sticky. I didn't like it in the winter time at all. So that's why it's good. Sometimes we review things in the wrong season and we get a guttural reaction to it. Like in the, in the winter time, you say, oh, I don't smell anything. Or like right now, some of my fall scents, I'm like, it's just too hot to deal with them. I'm not going to like them right now because if they were good in fall, they would stink right now. So those are my two pocket bags. I'm sorry, those are my two wallflowers. I'm going to go on to my pocket bags. And my store just got this one in. I don't know if it's still available online or not, but it's Italian getaway. This scent smells very much like the Tuscan herb. It's the same notes. It is a lime scent with basil and just a, a dash of sage. So it smells very refreshing, it smells very herbal, and it smells very expensive. It reminds me of colognes that you know are from Italy and you have to go to niche places and buy them. That, that's what this smells like to me. Not heavy at all, perfect for this weather here. I, I barely go through a pocket bag, but whenever I'm wearing my zesty, citrusy fragrances, this is my pocket bag of choice. Orange pop, orange ice pop. This is just pure orange, nothing else to it. It just smells like a fresh orange. And they have a lot of these kind of scents right now. So when I'm wearing something orange, so you so you already got them serenity if you already got them you know we're this is the dog days of summer where we're using it's fresh we just trying to make it now you know and um then this is a bubblegum scent here it is called um oh bubblegum that makes sense <laughs> bubblegum burst and it's just a sweet playful fruity scent Oh, how you doing, Mariah? God bless you. Yeah, and so I figure if I ever want something a little bit stronger than these, you know, if I get tired of smelling like, you know, a child at the ice cream shop, I'll smell like a child at the um, sweet shop. So that those are the ones that, these are the ones that I'm going to go through. Now, if I don't get back on here before we transition to fall, I'm going to transition to fall with this tiramisu because it's still going to be hot and probably unbearable. So this tiramisu would be a nice transition scent. This, this pocket back is almost 100% coffee. And then it has like tiramisu in the back. Like you smell the tiramisu in the background and you got a cup of espresso up front. That's what this one is like and I love it. So those are my pocket backs I'm going through. With the, now go on to hand soaps. This one's almost done. I think I hauled this a couple of weeks ago. This is Italian lavender. This is my favorite lavender. This hand soap is the best foaming hand soap in the store. It foams way more than any other. If I weren't in the habit of using so much, I could have used half as much as I used of this one. I will definitely buy another of this one if they have it at the SAS or a couple. I don't, I don't keep backups anymore because I'm trying to know by. So what are the notes on this one? It is Italian lavender, white jasmine, and sheer vanilla. Oh, this is beautiful. It's not a sweet, sticky lavender marshmallow. It is just the most beautiful, natural lavender. It's perfect for your guest bathroom. You know, anybody can use it. It's a scent if you have it in your guest bathroom. Anybody can use it. Nobody's offended by lavender. Men aren't going, oh my God, the lavender, tutti fruity hand soap, but I got to get my hands clean. And you know, um, ladies and gentlemen, some men, if they smell it and they don't like it, they just not going to use soap. Speaking from experience, you know, so better to have something that they're okay with sitting there so when they smell the one that doesn't work for them, you could just, you know, here you go. You can, you can use that one. And then I love this one too. Next, I'm finishing up this Cucumber li Lily. This is my um, exfoliating hand soap. Uh, yeah, Mariah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, certain citizens will just forgo soap if all you got is a tutti fruity, rosy, blossoming one, you know. I'm just saying, you know. So this is Cucumber Lily. I love this scent. They just brought it out in the Fresh Greens collection, so we're getting the whole body care for it. And this is Fresh Cucumber, Green Tea, and Lily of the Valley. So this one you can't tell, except for you can see the little dry, crusty pieces on it. I've been using it, but where it gets thick on the spout, that's where it is. Yeah, I mix mine right now. In order to conserve it so I don't buy too much Eve, I will squirt my regular foaming and then I'll put some of this with it because I feel like my hands would be crusty otherwise in the summertime and I'm trying to glow all summer long. Y'all see that shine? I'm doing everything I can to glow, you know, summer glow. So exfoliating is my little secret. So that hand soap I'm gonna finish up this summer and then i'm gonna switch to this so little cute wagmore bark less this just smells like an orange hand soap you know like any kind of orange zest that you could find in any bathroom that's what this one smells like it says frozen sorbet juicy orange and creamy vanilla this just smells like a bowl of oranges to me so maybe when i use it i'll find something different but that's my third hand soap that I am going to finish this summer and then I am going to use my brand new res raspberry tangerine yeah that one's still available you can still I just got these so um with the hand soaps I go through them so fast that you can still get all of these this packaging I don't know if it's available they got some brand new packaging in the cucumber lily that I do want but I don't know if I'll get it or not because I'm trying to be on a no buy. But the, the, if you see online, the new packaging for Cucumber Lily in the Fresh Greens collection is so beautiful. But all of these are actually available. And this Raspberry Tangerine, definitely gonna use this for the winter. It is Wild Raspberry, Fresh Tangerine, and Lemon Zest. This smells like a gelato. So if you have the gelato candle, if you like gelato, I just had a gelato at the fair. That is what this smells like to a tea. And it is a lovely, lovely hand soap. Hey, how you doing, Miss Williams? Daita? <laughs> God bless you. Yeah, using up these hand soaps. That's the one thing we can all be confident we use up. And finally, to transition into fall, I am going to use the summer tiramisu so i love the packaging on this this kind of looks like a fall transition into summer kind of scent to me although i am eating tiramisu's right now when i can get them uh, it is espresso bean creamy vanilla and whipped sugar even though they list the espresso bean as the top note in this when i smell it i smell the creamy vanilla the whipped sugar and just the perfect amount of espresso this smells just like a tiramisu they nailed it with this one I would definitely get some more of these if you know I don't end up getting something else in hand soap at the time but at SAS if they bring these back on the three dollar rack I will definitely get some more cuz I just adore this fragrance those are all the hand soaps I'm gonna use up for the um, fall I will go on to my um, body wash My hair videos, um, you know, I, I, I keep my hair in this hairstyle mostly. I guess if you wanted to know, I didn't think anybody would want to know about my little beach hairstyles trying to keep my hair together. But I guess I could do some hair videos if that's something that you guys are interested in. I definitely have a considerable hair routine to keep hair on my head, that's for sure. So I think about it. Um, in shower gels, of course, I'm already using my in the sun. In the summertime, this is so refreshing. This actually smells just like this hand soap to me. So this doesn't smell so much neroli. It smells like the just the orange rind, a fresh bowl of oranges. And I just like that invigorating scent in the bathroom right now. This hand soap, I'm sorry, this body wash is my favorite body wash. Okay, thank you, Serenity. 
Okay, I'll, 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 I'll work on it. Um, this is my favorite hand soap because it is more sudsy than the other hand soaps. I use a washcloth with this and it subs up like I'm using like a, a loofah or something like that. It is amazing. I've been using this for a couple of months and I really only need like a dime or a nickel size. I'm probably using a quarter size just because I'm used to using the other hand soaps. I only have one more after this, but I'm really enjoying it. Now, I'm going to bring in my... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, when I'm talking about the soap, I'm not talking about the scent. And it, it, this is a signature scent of mine, but this soap is the most sudsy and the most economical of my foaming hand soaps I've tried so far. So, I love Bath & Body Works foaming hand soaps. They are all amazing. But some of them, you have to use more soap and you go through them faster. That one, you can use less soap so it lasts longer. I used that same soap last summer and I had enough left over to use it this summer. But I was using some other hand soap. Some new, seemed like the newer ones don't foam as much. And so I was using one of those and I got in the habit of using a lot. I don't mind using a lot. And so when I switched over to this one, I had bubbles everywhere. I had to wash the cloth. With this one, I had to wash the cloth because I had too many bubbles, you know. And um, after, well, probably along with that one, I'm going to use the banana passion fruit when I want to have a suntan kind of scent, you know, going to the beach and different things like that. And during the hottest days of summer, a sweet banana boat scent just sounds fun. And this one has passion fruit, pineapple leaves, freesia petals, banana flower, and amber. I'm really looking forward to the amber in this. This smells like a nice banana boat sunscreen scent. I really enjoy those. So I'm gonna give this a try as it gets hotter and hotter, and hopefully it's quite refreshing. Lastly, I got this new body wash when they had some kind of sale or they had the coupons and I got one of these. It is the gingham moisturizing body wash with shea butter and um, cocoa. Gingham is a nice refreshing all year long scent. It's blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet, and clean musk. So I feel like this can go with anything. So I'm gonna use this one too. And I think this would be great for a date night because it's got the violet musk. So those are the body washes that I'm going to use. And I, I think I will probably finish this one and put a good dent into the other two. And um, I may continue with the gingham during fall. I don't know though. I, I haven't got any fall scents yet. So I will go on to my um, body oils and scrubs. I'm just using this sand and sea at the beach right now in the body scrub. Oh, thank you. Glad, glad that was able to help. Yeah, it had center. It, gingham is just a beautiful scent. It, it's like it, it, in embodies what the customer of Bath and Body Works would be into. It's one, so it has peach, it has citrus, it, it has musk, and it has a little bit of floral. So it has a little bit for everybody. Try it on your skin, see how it works. Gotta use my at the beach sand and sea salt body scrub. This body scrub is doing so good for me. I'm trying to stretch it. I think I've probably used a good amount already but it's summertime and i gotta keep my glow so i'm buffing my skin with this sandy product right here i really like it let me see what it's scent white sands warm sunlight fresh waves life is more beautiful at the beach and at the beach scent is white bergamot waters sea salt breeze and sun kissed musk this scent is always available. Really lovely. Right now, I am so enjoying this in the shower. This is my favorite smell in the shower right now. I kid you not. It's just so fresh and light and easy. Oh, thank you, Serenity Girl. I, I, I finished up. This is my second um, sand scrub. And when my empties come, I've already finished one. So I was serious about buffing this skin out. I, I take no prisoners in that arena. So this is the only time of year when you, when you, when you, you know, when 
Everybody's seeing the skin all the time. If you go to a formal affair, you know, you need to buff in the wintertime. But pretty much I can cover, cover up with a turtleneck and all that in the wintertime. But right now, girl, you know, everywhere you go, just, I don't show all this, but um, this is how I'm getting it done. Okay, now I'll do my body oils and my glow. So, um... I'm using this rainbow body oil. This is marshmallow magic. It is the same as lavender mar marshmallow. Lavender marshmallow is what this smells like. It is a very light. If you look, you can see that it has some water. So it's actually a very refreshing oil and it has a little glow in it. So when I put this on, my skin does kind of glow. This is not what I have on today because I was like really trying to be extra today. But I, I will show, I am definitely I think this may make my July empties. I don't know, but she's cutting it close. This is a new body oil I got from a Miss Tina recommendation. It's coconut milk body oil, and that just seemed perfect for the summer. Oh, did I give you the notes on this one? I didn't, and um, it's they are very hard to read. I'm sorry guys, back when this had more fluid in it, it was easier to read. I can see it says lavender, um, vanilla cream, and marsh, oh, it's marshmallow musk, lavender, and vanilla cream. So vanilla, lavender, and musk. Bath and Body Works, and I love it. So it's very, if you have problems with oils, if you ever see this oil in the clearance section, it is the lightest and most refreshing oil you can get it feels like it has like some kind of alcohol or some witch hazel or something in that gives your skin a refreshing and then it deposits a fine layer of oil so that your skin looks beautiful so if they bring that one back definitely consider it but um this summer i have some new ones this is coconut milk body oil and I've never used them, so I don't know how fast this product will go. But um, it says nutrient-packed coconut milk made from the pressed white meat of coconut. And it's laden with essential skin-loving proteins. So I'm giving it a shot. I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this is a lotion or if this is an oil. But since it says body oil on it, I am going to use it in my body oil category. Now, I got this unique moisture milk, coconut milk moisture milk, and I'm so excited to use this product. This is the lightest weight um, moisturizer I have been able to get. So I have moisturizer on, you know, I wouldn't come on here doing y'all like that. But that moisturizer, you see, it adds hydration to your skin as well as moisture and now I smell like a coconut it's a very strong coconut milk scent and it says the same thing nutrient packed coconut milk made from the pressed white meat of coconut so they're telling the truth because I smell like white coconut I smell like cooking coconut you know not like coconut with sugar on it so I'm gonna give this a try along with this you know, as soon as I finish with um, this one right here, okay? So, um, now, as far as what I'm getting my glow from today, you guys, these come out during the holidays, and I'm giving you the heads up. It's not in the store now, but they. this is the Vanilla Bean Noel Whipped Shimmer Body Cream, and this will definitely be back. It's always there for the holidays. This one has a gold. You see that? It's so pretty. They come out with all these specialty products. And this one has a gold to it. Oh, I think that piece got a little dried out. I use, This is what I use today. So I'm getting a little demo. When it gets back in the store, this is a couple of years old. But you see that glow? Yes. And um, if you look closely, it has gold shimmer flecks in it. So I don't, I don't think my camera is good enough for you to see it, but this is very, very hydrating on your skin. And that 
It looks so good for the holidays when you go places. I had it on this morning, so this is what it looks like after it's been on all day. But when you're walking around in this, girl, you look good. You look fenty delicious, okay, on a budget. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. These, This is the Whipped Shimmer Body Cream. This is the most, and you guys, this cream, y'all saw the way it came out. It is on another level. It is so rich. Although this was probably an $18.50 item, this cream feels like one of those Sephora $50 creams. It is amazing. Your skin is so hydrated. I wouldn't expect it this to be very hydrating because it's got all this shimmer and shine to it, but it hydrates and it moisturizes. This is the only time I don't have to use, I don't have to use a body oil with this. I can just use it by itself, but I'm extra. And I do use a body oil sometimes with it, you know, because like right now, it's, I could have saved it because I, I, I feel like this is enough shine. I have this all here. I have it, uh, you see that glow there? That's all this after I do my scrub. So now you know my little secret, but so I have two of these. I will not finish this this summer. I just use it on the parts that are showing and I will continue using the same one into the winter. Love me some vanilla bean. No L. Can I get it? Amen. Mm, it smells like a fresh sugar cookies. And in my world, sugar cookies, butter cookies are always welcome. Okay, just like Santa. I like them all the time. Now we will get into my just straight. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you this one too. Serenity, I am using this Havana Tropical Vanilla and Shara Moya hair protective hair perfume with uv absorbers and aloe so i'm using this to hydrate my hair once a day in addition to the rest of my hair routine which for me includes hair makeup i have hair and makeup here you guys because i have a receding hairline so you know i i when i when i that hair video you will see me you know painting on a few tresses you know, other people glue some dresses on. I just paint. So this is, so I'm going to, I think I will finish. I bought like four or five of these. So I think I will finish this one this summer. And if I don't, it should last till next summer because I, I just bought them. And now we will get into my um, creams. I got this Tangelo Woods and it is essentially mandarin and bergamot i feel like this mandarin and bergamot plus the wood can go very nicely with the in the sun so in the morning when i want a little boost i'm going to use this body cream this was a um oh um this is extremely moisturizing this is the most moisturizing product i've ever gotten at bath and body works point period the whipped shimmer body cream which is $18.50. It is the most moisturizing product I've ever gotten. And it has enough hydration for me. Like I tried the True Blue. That stuff was so heavy. I was rubbing all day in the morning trying to get it to go in my skin. You saw how fast this went in. And my skin feels hydrated like it had a drink of water. And I got, you know, a massage with some cocoa butter and some, and some baby oil. This is a beautiful product. I've had this for a couple of years. It has not gone bad. And I love the packaging, very sanitary. You know, you, you're not dipping inside of the container like that. So yeah, this is this is amazing. Comes out for Christmas. I um, buy mine during the SAS sale, but if you don't have them, I, I would say when they have a sale on the line where all of it's on sale, grab that product, you know, like, Sometimes they'll have a sale where they'll say all products are $5.50. During that sale, I will definitely go for that product. Now, this body cream here um, by the um, is from the Aromatherapy line. These are the second most moisturizing products in the store. So this is the second most moisturizing. This is a thick cream. Now, um, some of the new ones are not a thick cream. Let me see if this one is the old-fashioned thick one. Yeah, this one is the newer formula. You see how light that is? This is almost like a lotion. So this is the newer body cream. I haven't played around with these too much, so I don't know how moisturizing this is. Whereas this um, shimmer cream, it's, this is definitely more moisturizing than this. But it might be enough for the summer. We'll see. 
And um, yeah, they changed the formula. On, all my creams are much lighter and thinner that I bought in the last SAS sale than the ones that I was using towards the S. Oh yeah, this is, this is phenomenal, Serenity. This right here is very hydrating. This keeps my hair from breaking off because it gives me UV protection and it's extremely hydrating and it adds some moisture to your hair. So, you know, when you're using creams and stuff, they're heavy and they're greasy. This is lightweight, but it keeps that hydration on your hair. Yeah, this is very moisturizing and hydrating and it has a little bit of um, lubricant from oil products in it. What is it that's in here? Oh, it's got a little bit, of, it's got aloe vera in it. That's what it is. So it's, it's a lightweight hydrating product. I love this right here. It makes my hair look so good. My mom, you know, the old couple, she's like, oh, what you put in your hair give you that good hair? If you know anything about that culture, but um, this, this high, keeping my hair hydrated does it. Now, next I have this um, Mediterranean Blue Waters. I don't know if I'll get to this figgy scent because now that I'm thinking about it, this is a coconut scent, and this is the one that I want to use because I, no problem, Serenity, God bless you. This is the coconut I really want to use up because I know that they still have this in the store. And this figgy scent, fig can kind of transition into fall, so I don't know if I'll get to this one or not, but I wanted to show it to you. It is sparkling passion fruit, Mediterranean fig, coconut water, drenched woods, and ocean musk. I love this oceanic scent here. I don't know if I'll get to it. I go through a lot of body creams, so like two a month, so I, I might get to it. And um, then I have my um, Miami Heat. If Because I've never used this tang Tangela Woods, I really don't know when to use it. I don't know if it's a winter scent, a spring scent, or a fall scent. It's pretty strong. But it smells, it smells like a fresh orange zest. Like if you got an orange and you started grating it and that juice from the orange sprays, that's what Tangela Wood smells like to me. So I don't know. I'm going to see. This one, though, I know is a beautiful summer scent. Look at that packaging. That is like the sunset. Oh, my goodness. When you're on vacation at the beach, that is what you want to see all the time. Um Juicy pineapple, California orange, coconut flour, creamy coconut milk, and sunny musk. Let me put a little bit of this one. Okay, did you see, did you see the difference in that cream? This is the old-fashioned cream. So I'm going to show you the newer cream versus the old cream. You can tell the difference right away. Look at the difference. See how thick and chunky that is? And these are both brand new creams. So, so the Mediter so the um, Malibu heat is the old formula, and it's much thicker and richer. So let me just ooh, that pineapple smells good. Mm. Mm. <coughs> my my throat's dry. I'm not coughing because of the scent. Mm, that's so refreshing and beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to bump this up. Mm hmm. This smells delicious. This pineapple is very refreshing right now. So that might have to go a little higher on the list. And um, of course, one of my in the sun um, body lotions. Oh, did I give you the notes? Yeah, I gave you the notes on this one. Um, you know, when I wanna be very sophisticated, sun-kissed neroli, sparkling orange flower, and bronze sandalwood. I think the sandalwood is what's get, killing this one for me. Because I mean, this has woods in it too, but it smells like an orange zest. I don't know, this might be a fall scent for me. I love the woods in there though. It's a very deep, like mahogany wood, whereas this is a sandalwood. This might even be a teak wood. Mm. But that, I love that boost. Whereas right now, um, this um, Miami Heat, it's felt smelling a lot more like a banana boat or a sunscreen, but just a little bit extra sweet goodness for summer. This also reminds me of, of um, some fruity celebrity fragrances that I've tried. So 
those are all my lotions. I have the Capri Coastal. If I get through everything else, I will use this one because this is a very tart, astringent, very expensive smelling lemon scent. It is fresh Italian lemon, iced bergamot, creamy vanilla, orchid, warm beachy cold coconut, and white sands. So this smells absolutely delicious. This is a scent that I can use all year long. I love a lemon gelato scent. Oh, that's so beautiful. And I can smell the coconut in the lotion. It's just so gorgeous. So those are all my um, creams and the one lotion that I'm going to use. But I have that moisture mist that I'm very excited to use this summer. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, last but not least, in this long video, I'm going to tell you the sprays that I'm using. First is Desert Wildflower. So I've already started on that, and I think I'll probably finish this this week. I'm wearing this today, and it smells so delicious paired with my um, Vanilla Bean Noel. It just smells nice and fresh and everything. And I've been walking past a lot of people, and when they get past me, they just kind of lift Cause, you know they're smelling fresh instead of you know when it's hot a lot of people stink you know that funk is inevitable so i have to work really hard i sprayed this whole shirt with desert wildflowers so that even when i'm funky the shirt smells fresh and it worked today so this is a nice light um I guess it's kind of a lotion-y scent, but it smells so fresh. I don't have the notes. This is the only product that I was able to get so far. I will try to get more of this at the SAS. I, it will probably be taken out of the store pretty soon because our store is selling out of the Desert Collection. I, we love the Desert Collection in Southern California. So the cactus, all, almost everything's gone already. I think I saw like two or three lotions of this one and maybe a few more sprays, but... I have so much from SAS, I, I just have to, this is the one luxury I got and I'm enjoying it for right now. Now the next one that obviously you guys know, it's summertime, I gotta pull out my in the sun. So I'm gonna use this one. I already gave you the notes, it's Neroli, Sandalwood, and something else. So, you know, but I love this scent. It's so beautiful in the summertime when I want to be sophisticated and smell like money. Expensive in the summer. Definitely bringing that one out. Now, when I'm going to the beach and I want to smell like, you know, sweet and innocent and, you know, like sunscreen, I got this fresh uh, coconut colada. And it's my first time getting this one, but um, it's just pure banana boat. In, in the container. They say coconut, and I'm sure the coconut's in there, but it just smells like a sweet banana boat kind of thing. I'm smelling a little pineapple in this one. So that's all good. I love pineapple right now. And um, when I want a little refreshing, like I'm getting down to business and I want to smell serious, I have happy vibes. This is a grapefruit scent. Oh, they have the notes on here. Pink citrus, crisp pear, fresh honeysucker, Sheer vertebra and dewy orchid. Okay, because it has the pear and the honeysuckle in there. Oh, yeah, that's my signature scent. Mm -hmm. um, since they have the honeysuckle in here and the pear, this might transition in the fall pretty good, even with the grapefruit, because grapefruits here, they are a fall fruit. It just it smells like something you could use all year long, but I think, yeah, this will probably be something that I transition with. And um, the last transit, this is what I plan to transition with, Mediterranean Blue Waters. Oh, I love this. This is just so sexy to me. I think of the Mediterranean as sexy, you know, like Italian men, Greek men, Mediterranean men. I mean, it's just fishermen, rivers. Oh, my goodness. Where am I going with this? Yeah, so water, oceans, all that's very, very sexy. So this with the fig note and um, what's the other note? Yeah, with the woods and the figs and the ocean musk um, and the coconut water, I thought this might be a good transition scent. I was watching Nicole No Fire do her fall haul today and um, 
So um, it was bittersweet because I enjoyed seeing her beautiful smiling face giggling and you know that little high pitched voice she does. But I was looking forward to her and Michael and Tina all doing a fall haul on the same day. That was something fun that I was looking forward to. But um, since she did her fall haul and Michael said in his video he's not doing a fall haul, I think they called that out. I was kind of, I was really looking forward to it. But she d was not impressed with most of the fall fragrances in the body care. So, you know, I know I love this one. So a bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. My store hasn't got the fall fragrances yet, but I think this is probably what I will be transitioning with. So that is my summer use it up and you will see these items in my empties videos. You know, some of them will be there soon. Some of them not so soon, but sooner than you would think. And anyway, thank you guys for hanging with me today. Jesus loves you. Thank you Serenity for the new video idea. I didn't know anybody wanted to know how I was keeping hair on my head, but um, I'm happy to share. Oh my goodness. I lost my earring back and I was trying to make one work so i'm gonna have to buy one because um, i love these earrings but um emmanuel god bless you and till we meet again leave in the comments what you're using up you know love to know what you're using for the summer have you already moved on to fall stuff i can't take those heavy scents right now it's too hot for anything heavy as you can see i'm acclimating towards pineapple right now okay so bye everybody